after overdose. We are responding to MBA to assist the ambulance on, lo uh, on location. Make it this way, make it this way, yeah. Anyone on location with PD and ambulance 93? Do you guys get the Narcan already? Is he responding or no? We're going to get him up to go in a second. Let's, let's put on the stretch and let's take it to the bus. Be advised, I have a four car MBA with one patient overdose being treated by ambulance 93. I'm gonna need two more ambulances to this location. Sorry, You're okay, you wanna go to the hospital, right? I have a little back pain, but I don't know. Not You're not sure, sure yet, okay. What about this one? So do you want to go to the hospital? Okay. okay. And you want to call in dispatch? I guess after a while, where everybody's drilling and wears off. Or... Uh, you're going to have to just change it back when you're aware of it. And it yeah. looks like it was pretty good damage. So we're on the scene of a multi-vehicle car accident. There's four cars involved. Unfortunately, the, the driver of the car that rear-ended everybody uh, overdosed on an unknown type of drug, which uh, appears to uh, have caused the accident. Now we have three victims. Uh, the overdose victim has been transported to the hospital. The three other victims are inside the ambulance with uh, relatively minor injuries, some neck pain, some back pain. But at this point, they're refusing to be transported to the hospital now. Um, and if later their condition worsens, they'll call an ambulance back and be transported to a local hospital. Hey, guys, we got a car fire, guys. Pass it up, right? Pass it, pass it. Or go to the, to the right. And you are on location. We have a full inboard okay. car fire. Hydrate, hydrate right here, right here. Uh, left. Right here. Uh, left. Uh, let's give me some show. You got two lens from here. Yeah. Stretch it, I must cap. Right there. Right there, right there. Ready. Let's go. I got a cap. Right. Mask up. Mask up, mask up. Let's go, wait, let's go. Come on. Get closer, get closer. There you go. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it, hit it. That's the time. Get closer, get closer. Get closer, get closer. Get closer. Right there, right there. Keep it right there. Apparently, the driver of the motorcycle took off on foot, so we can't find him. Um, the driver of the vehicle is just being assessed by EMS on scene. There's not that much damage to the motorcycle, so whatever he hit had to catch it, just uh, had to catch something just right. We're going to an order of gas. Um, 
We're gonna be pulling up in a minute here. We're gonna be the first to enter. Right, Numerical honor, I manage to shrink list. Yeah, we're gonna be pulling up in a minute here. We're gonna be the first to enter. Numerical honor, I manage to shrink list. Yeah, we're gonna be pulling up in a minute here. We're gonna be the first to enter. Numerical honor, I manage to shrink list. Yeah, we're Hey, we're working out here though in the street today. Yeah, they, they yeah. were the whole the whole block. They were digging it up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, negative this time, but, uh, Somebody called in that they smelled gas out here. That's all. Was, uh, yeah, right in front of 85. Oh, oh, I smell a dead animal. To be honest with you, that's what I smell. You just smell dead animal. Right? You got that whiff? Yeah. Who knows? It could be. So don't, that person can't. Get the he said there was nothing. Yeah. He said they don't have any gas. Uh, smell inside right now. Yeah, passerby smelt uh, uh, natural an odor of gas. So we're uh, we're just checking the area. I had a construction crew here today. Did some work. Oh yeah, it's strong back here. In this box, bro, it's bad. We don't have any pets that are missing. No. No, okay. It's strong here, right? Andrew, get in there, Andrew. Uh, it's the garbage. You can smell it. Okay. I, I it. Whew. It's no, Andrew, don't worry about it. I was just joking. We walked up. We had a different odor than natural gas. It smelled like a, a, a rotting animal. So uh, we looked around, and we found that uh, there was a, a bunch of garbage on the side of this house here where... Uh, the smell was coming from. So uh, the chief has uh, returned us, so we're going to be available. Where are we at? Which one? Oh, she was choking? Okay. All right, so we're just gonna check her, her vital signs. We gotta make sure that they just want this count and just, you know, just uh, let us go. But we have to check everything because you just never know what's going on. So we're gonna check her blood pressure, pulse, respirations. We did just check her temperature. We understand we're still looking for signs of the uh, uh, coronavirus as well. All right. I would say get her home. Yes, yeah, we just uh, we just checked her. We just checked all her vitals and keep her okay. Right? I, I was passing by and I kind of, I think I saved her life. I just all right. pushing her like under her breast. Yeah. So she's just oh, she was choking. Oh yeah, she was choking. Oh, good job. Thank you. Yeah, I don't I, I think you. I did it right. All right. Well, I mean, she's I, alive. So you did yeah, it right. So, okay. What's your name, pal? Baz. Baz. Yeah. I'm Chief McDermott. Nice Thank to meet you, you Brian. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. Well, everybody, look at our hero, Baz. Excellent job. He saved her from choking. Appreciate it. All right. I'm just so, happy she's okay. Good. Thank, Thank you, you very much, pal. Really. That's good. We got to make sure we get your name, too. Absolutely. All right. We got to give you an award. Thank you. Mama. All right. All right. Good. Great story. So she was choking. Uh, we have a hero in our midst, uh, Mr. Baz over there. And that's what we love, our, our citizens taking action. You can't ask for a better story here, where she, and all, amongst all these people, he recognized that, took action, and it's great. Thanks again, Baz. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Awesome. Good stuff. My hero. All right, fellas, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night. You guys got it. This is a great place. This is excellent. How's the food? Good? All right, I'm in. I'll be coming down. I love it. Very cool. All right, my friend, have a good night.
Right now, responding to a possible building fire. The chief on scene's reporting light smoke in the area. See if you can find a staircase up there. Look, look where the fire was. Just go try and get rid of it. All right. Keep going. We're going up here. All right, Paul. Let's follow them up. Hey guys, help us out. I'm coming. Keep on going. You good? You good? Hey, Paul. Just flush that hydrant. Hook up the hose. Don't charge. I don't know, man. I'm looking for it. There's nothing on the first floor. So it means it's definitely a different apartment from the rear, at least. Uh, looked like it was uh, unattended cooking. Got away from the, uh, the chef. Uh, caught the cabinets a little bit. Didn't get into the uh, sheet rocket also. First two engine made a quick stop, otherwise this could have been a nice little fire. So, good job by engine five. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.